Hey guys, it's Ariana Hunt from the Brooklyn Bridge Bootcamp. Today we'll do 100 push-ups, 10 different types of push-ups, 10 sets each. Um, they're my favorites and I think they work your abs the best. So give it a good shot and make sure you're really tired at the end of the push-ups. Quality is more important than quantity. Let's get started with 10 easy sit-ups. Your chin is up, elbows out. Push your lower back into the floor to help you lift. And pretty quickly you should feel a small shaking in your abs. Exhale as you come up, bring them right down. Keep your chest wide open, elbows out. Most people work like this. You don't want to do that. Six, seven, eight. Get your shoulder blades as high up as you can. Nine, and move on to the next one. Reach your hands up. Come as high up as you can, halfway, and then come back down. Push up with your lower back. Keep your chest open, and exhale as you come up. Three. And you can always keep your ankles pushing down, your heels pushed down into the floor to anchor yourself. Five more. Five. Come down slowly, that's when your abs work the most. Four. Three. Two. And let's move on for the third set. Come all the way up to a seated position. Come all the way up, elongate your torso, and slowly lower yourself. Make your back nice and round. Push off using your lower back because it engages everything in your lower body. Three, you're gonna take your time. How you do these moves is much more important than how many you do. Good. Five more. Four. Keep the arms nice and long. Three, two, and stay up here. Pick your feet up for 10 seconds and hold your boat pose for balance. This is great core stability. Keep your chest open. Five more, four, three, two, and come back down. Bring your left arm up overhead and reach for your right ankle. Bring it across, hold, come back down. Try to go a little higher with each sit-up. You're working your obliques on the right side here. Reach and down. Four. Hold it at the top for just a split second. That's when your abs work the hardest. So we must miss that part. That's what makes this move more effective. Seven. Eight. Nine, and I can feel some shaking here. Switch it up, right arm goes to left ankle. Reach up nice and high, 10, nine, eight, always push off with your lower back, seven, because that engages the lower abs the best, six, five, four, and you can see I'm not swinging anywhere, I'm using control of the abs. Last one. All right, take it into full jackknife. Both arms reach for the ankles. Reach up high and slowly lower yourself. This might take a little practice. You might not get this right the first time, but it challenges your lower abs quite a bit. Good, use control and try to lift both arms and legs up at the same time. Breathing is important, so exhale when you come up. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, take it into the swivel. Your heels are on the floor. Your toes point up. Reach sideways, hold. Reach sideways, hold. Reach for your ankles. Look at your belly button. Four, five, keep your shoulder blades off the floor. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Move it into slow bicycles. Bring your right elbow to the left knee, hold. Switch it over, hold. On the opposite leg is always extended. The longer you make it, the more you're working your obliques. Don't pull in your head, just support it. Four, three, two, and one.
and place both heels down, reach your hands between the knees, and pulse it up, hold it, come back down. This works the middle of your abs like crazy. Eight, hold, good. And keep your chin looking up at the ceiling so your chest stays wide open. Makes everything heavy on your upper body and your abs work more effective. Five more. And four. Three. Two. And we'll finish it off with a bonus round. Just get your knees up above your ankles. Reach your chin up high. Come up, hold. Come back down. And a little butt lift here as you come up and come back down. That way your entire ab area has worked. Good. And I hope you can see the shaking. Five, so I didn't do this all in me. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Oh, and we did a hundred plus more. So keep in mind that if you want a six pack, you have to also have a fat burning diet and get rid of the stuff covering your six pack. All right, that means no more donuts. All right, let's do those every day and let me see a six pack next week, guys.